Thank you very much. I wish I had my camera interview no going. Cheers, cheers again. Cheers, cheers again. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the lifestyle, man. This is when you come in here. I love yeah, it. Yeah. Is this where we're doing the barbecue? <laughs> That's right. Exactly. Yeah. So go ahead and state your name and tell me your ride. What are we looking at? Uh, so my name is Chow. It's a 2016 Toyota Land Cruiser. And it's a, it's a beautiful Land Cruiser, but not only that, you have some wonderful modifications. Go ahead and describe them. Uh, I have them tastefully done. I, um, my whole thing is purpose-built, so I take this vehicle off-roading. I use it. I abuse it. I've got scratches to prove it. Love it. Um, so I have an alu cap, um, 3.1 gen pop-up tent. Super easy. 30 seconds, it pops up. Um, you also see a 270 awning, freestanding. So, it's so nice. Yeah, once that, you know... Once you get forward thinking, you get drunk. There's no poles that you run into. <laughs> there's nobody. It's it's nice. It's a it's a good cover. Uh, if I go to the beach, I pull up to the sidewalk. It's on the passenger side. Oh, so I can, that's a good I idea. Chill. Yeah, everything's been very um, thought provoked as far as functional because I, I use this. I use this vehicle. Everything you see here from the tables, they slide up underneath the undercarriage, underneath the uh, camper so everything's been done i've got my solar uh my generator i'm mm. solar's next i'll be doing a refrigerator yeah, yeah. i've got my little weber grill that I i'm grilling that. i've got my little stereo speakers so yeah everything's been um purpose well, built yeah, and purpose, used yeah right? used like i i come out here and i i'm you know i i used to do the whole um import car scene and i loved it my biggest thing was that unless you're on the asphalt that's the only time you can have it. Unfortunately, the boys in blue, they're not the very friendliest when the lights are on. So at least this way. <laughs> They'll love I, this, though. Well, no, I can tuck tail and go to the dirt, and they can't catch me. <laughs> you can't outrun the radio, but at least you can outrun them if, you know, push comes to sub. But a lot of times when you go off here, I go off grid. Um, it's nice because when you look at your cell phone, you don't have any signal. That's, um, you got to connect. Uh, well, that's a feeling all its own. Of just to be unplugged and just to be disconnected and like I said I'm pretty much self-sufficient I don't need anything I got my own you know water drinks food that I bring out so that's fantastic you even got the snorkel I love the desert yeah. snorkel I see the marine tattoo yes, uh, thank you for your service what was your MOS yeah. uh, I was um, a diesel mechanic 2141 Amtrak's okay so, so you have some experience working on cars then, I have right? some at forward thinking and that's why it's one of those things I just don't want to buy it to show it I want to buy it to use it and have it function and it's one of those things that over time it's you know you buy once cry once versus mm -hmm. you know you buy what you can afford and realize oh i should have done this and now you gotta put on offer up or or craigslist you know and, and take half the half of it versus just save up the money for what you want and then in that time period if something ch ch changes your mind or catches your eye you're able to like oh shit you know, that's, that's now, now tell me where did you have your enthusiastic, enthusiastic, passionate person? Where did this come from for, for cars? Like, where did this stem from? Um, it came from me. My first car that I modified was a 1998 Ford Contour SVT, and that's Ooh, got me. SVT, in, yeah, yeah, SVT, yeah, old school SVT. Yeah, and I got into that. Um, was uh, did a um, SCCA Sports Compact Car of America. Had fun with that while I was in the Marine Corps. Um, learned from that. But like I said, unless I was on asphalt, it just kind of pulled me away. So then I had a Cherokee, I had an FJ, a Forerunner, and now I have a Land Cruiser. And it's something that's multi-purpose that not only I can you know enjoy by myself, I can take fans, friend, um, fans and friends out and family. It's just it's been one of those things that the culture itself, just like the import scene of the cars, it's a it's a great vibe, you know. I love it. Now, what makes this Land Cruiser? Toyota capable as opposed to you know the Jeep guys or, or some of the other off-road um, uh, brands out there nothing at all man you know what I give it to the Jeep guys you know we joke about it because Jeep stands for just empty every pocket but in all fairness so does this vehicle um, <laughs> it's like girls people like fat girls big ass big titties skinny girls import girls oh, Asians ones, yeah. Yeah. exactly so it's it's what you want you, you know because a lot of it you what happens is you buy the vehicle and then you start modifying it. You don't necessarily think the foresaw. So for the Jeep guys, great. For the Toyota guys, Land for the Cruiser guys, Land Cruiser yeah. guys. For oh, the, no, I'm sorry, uh, Land Rover. Land Rover guys. Well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, Land G, Land. yeah, G wagons, whatever. I mean, the main thing is, is just do something you want to do, enjoy it. And that's how I look at it. Because a lot of times people are like, you know, once they, they don't have the luxury of buying a vehicle just as a toy. It's their daily commuter. Mm -hmm. So I under, I also understand that. Um, I've been doing this for over 20 years, so I've had my mistakes of building it, buying it, putting it on credit, breaking shit, and then having to fix that on top of a, of a credit card payment, yeah. the stuff that I bought. 
So I'm, I'm a little bit more wiser as I've gotten older. And so and I hope I everyone's listening to that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, absolutely. But you can, I mean, you can buy what you want to buy. The, the main thing is, is that sooner or later, shit breaks. Because we, you know, we play with our shit. And that's the only thing is, is that when it breaks, it's like now I have another payment on top of this. So that's where I've gotten a little bit wiser. And, you know, the whole buy once, cry once. Because some of the tents you can get for a thousand bucks, this one you can get for four grand. There's a huge difference. And for, for some people, that could be an entire um, year's extra money yeah absolutely so it's fun money you exactly know? it's yeah. fun money so i always look at stuff like that and, and the other thing people are like oh you only have 33s not 35s believe it or not this setup still fits in my garage oh, so that's my biggest thing is that know, i right? can actually fit this car in my garage that's good last question i appreciate all oh, you talking worry. to me and everything um, what are we talking about it's just water nah. it's, just, it's just mountain water <laughs> yeah mountain water there you yeah go. last question california wants to transition to electrification in the next 15 to 20 years what are your thoughts of electric cars in the future of the car culture um there's a bigger rabbit hole than people realize and that's the support system i mean you turn around every freaking corner you can get gas where you can you recharge one of the biggest problems people don't realize is that if you go to vegas or you go anywhere and you don't plan for it um, I hate to say a lot of people don't realize like when the gas lights on that means you need gas And if you're not realizing that your car needs four to six hours to fully charge You can be some deep doo-doo um, I I think right now Toyota's real smart with the hybrid system where you're able to use gas and electricity mm. So that way you're not stuck versus a Tesla or a Ford Lightning or a pure electric car that's where it is. The other thing is, is with the way the batteries are um, and and mining for it and just destroying the earth, people don't realize that, you know, people... have seen that, the cobalt mines out Yeah, the out cobalt there. mines, you know, the, the nickels, I mean, the, you know, the lithiums. That's all. They have to dig that, that stuff, and people don't realize that. It's like out of sight, out of mind. So there's a bigger picture and that we should talk about. But ultimately, I think what needs to be done is... There's a lot of promise in gasoline engines still, and there's in the, in the 60s there was turbine engines and things like that, and they had electric cars back in the 20s. So it's not that say that it's not a capable, it's just that this is where the rabbit hole goes. You got all these OPEC and everybody else that's paying these congressmen because people of our age, we don't vote, so they don't care about us. You need to get your ass up and vote because that's what counts. Now all of a sudden, we're not paying those $50, I'm sorry, those $500 or $10 or $1,000 plate dinners when to hear them speak. So they're going to listen to those guys. So when we can fight with our pen and vote and vote these these guys out of office, then maybe we have a saying. But right now, they don't care right. about us. And you know what? We need to educate ourselves. And that's why we need more people to, to listen to that fact that, you know, th this isn't as green or as, uh, yeah, you can check on your lobster. Green as important or... or um, what 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 the mass media wants us to think so i really appreciate your time is there any more shout outs or anything else you wanted to give out before uh, i take just a quick walk around with my camera for this um no i just appreciate you stopping by like i said I, this um, is my third trip no i just worries. love this no man. worries you're more than welcome to come and ask me um there's a couple other things that you don't see which is full stainless steel undercarriage from front to rear oh that helps and the stainless steel costs more but it doesn't rust and like i said it's one of those buy once cry once the fit and finish for the undercarriage because i do take this off-roading i do camp i do utilize this vehicle it's just one of the things that i do as a hobby uh, as an enthusiast that i love and, and i appreciate somebody like yourself come up and coming up and asking me i uh, i would i love to share and i and i learn from other people from this this isn't something that i just like oh i'm going to build it I looked at other people, I oh, talked to people, yeah. and just from different rhymes and reason, and they've got like little nicks here and there, and, and that's what it's about. It's just about, you know, community. the community, yeah, community. The community, the talking, the just wanting to be um, around. And um, I think the biggest thing is every car owner here, the passion they have for fucking horsepower, for, you know, loving their car, their passion. Yeah, their personality exactly. that goes into their car. Exactly. So. You look at this and it's like whether it's an 85 or a 70 Skyline or a 2023 Supra, it's, it's amazing. And I love it that the passion is not dead for these cars. And that's what I love the most is the individuality of it. Perfect. Dude, I really appreciate it. Thank you again. Uh, I'm going to do my walk.